Weight gain in witches. I have a personal and long-standing question about excess body weight. I've heard that people who practice magic often gain weight. It's called a magical layer, and it helps practitioners tune into their work. At the beginning of the elemental course, I heard that this feature indicates a conflict between air and water. Could you give us some advice on how to resolve this conflict? Some practical advice like the one you gave us last time, explaining in detail the loss of smell after the virus. My weight is constantly increasing, especially under stress. After I had the virus, I gained weight again. Now my joints are being destroyed. I have trouble walking. How and by what means can this conflict be resolved? Well, let's start at the beginning. First of all, witches do not always gain weight. Sometimes witches are very thin, and their metabolism can reach the speed of a space rocket. And sometimes they're not, sometimes witches really do gain excessive weight, creating a kind of protective layer, a kind of reserve, and they gain weight for no apparent reason. Of course, this usually happens because of hormonal changes in the body, because consciousness begins to work on slightly different frequencies, and hormones are not the last to play a role in this. We can say that the whole body is involved in this process. But this problem of gaining weight can be solved because hormones are hormones and effects are effects. And the elements can really help here. Namely, the air element and the water element, you are absolutely right. You will need to follow a few simple recommendations, do breathing exercises, move more, because air needs some fire in order to keep on burning. So try to walk fast, not run, but walk very fast. And of course, try to drink more water, because the warmer your air gets, the more water you need to drink. This is in regards to the practical advice that you asked for. Now, regarding the breathing exercises. Pay attention to the system of physical exercises with a delay in breathing, it's called body flex, there are good exercises that help to enhance the respiratory system and at the same time redirect it to solving bodily problems. And, of course, drink more water. Remember that swelling is caused by a lack of fluid in the body, not an excess of fluid. When the body gets scared, it says, I have to hold on to all the water, so I'm going to quickly collect all the fluid from the body somewhere in the fat tissue and store this extra water just in case I get scared. So you have to convince your body that nothing terrible is going to happen, that you will have enough water, that there is not going to be a global drought. So drink more water, plain pure water, warm if you like, and you will speed up your metabolism. And all of this needs to be done more than once, you should incorporate these practices into your daily life and do them every day, work with the elements and do not get discouraged. Take into consideration that the virus affects the endocrine system, among others. Therefore, use herbs that put the entire endocrine system in order. Try phytotherapy. Choose a suitable set of herbs for yourself or consult an herbalist. That is, look at the situation in a complex. Your consciousness is rebuilding, it was badly damaged by the virus. It's just in a panic right now and doesn't know what to do. It doesn't know what to hold on to, whether it's the thyroid gland, the spleen, or the lower parts of the body. First of all, calm your consciousness. Cleanse the astral body, take the pressure off it, tell it that nothing terrible is happening, that everything is fine, that this is a normal body change that witches always go through. Explain this to your consciousness and it will slowly begin to calm down, like a child that you take in your arms and comfort. Just don't expect quick results, a week or two, maybe three, you won't get any results. You'll even have little panic attacks. But after that, the weight may just start to come off by itself, it will come off faster and faster. 
You will be drawn into a new rhythm of life, and you won't even notice how quickly things start to change.